my wife jokes, you know, she says, you need to see a doctor. I said, no, you'll see the doctor before I do. The magical moment for me is when I strike the switch and the motor comes on, and then I strike the lamp and the lamp comes on, and you've started the show. This is the way you should watch film. Sometimes, you know, it ends up on DVD or remastered Blu-ray, what have you. And I think sometimes they make too much of an effort with the cleaning process and what have you. And I think, really, rather than add, I think it takes a lot away from it. One of my all-time favorites is the original 1932 King Kong. It reminds me of my childhood days. I must have about four prints of that. I've got it on standard eight, super eight, and 16 mil. I think I've got two prints on 16 mil. Yeah, there he goes, look, he's chomping him. He's chomping him about. The amount of stuff that's on this print is unbelievable. I'm never gonna get rid of it now. I started collecting when I would have been about eight or nine years old. I went to a friend's birthday party, and he said to me, let's watch a movie. It was a Ray Harrison movie we watched, Seven Voyage of Sinbad, and you've got the Cyclops running about on the screen. And I thought, wow, I've got to get one of these. They're so magical. I mean, if you look at the colours on this, right, look at it. See, this is Kodachrome. Colours are beautiful, man. There was a new cinema opened in Kingsland Road, and at first, I was like what they call a rewind boy, because when the films come off, the projector didn't rewind the film, and it had to be rewind manually by hand. And that's how it started. Then they trained me to use the big projector, and it just went from that. Initially, it was um, a video shop, struck sweet shop, and struck groceries. And it stayed like that for a good five, six years. And I thought, let me try and sell some of my cine stuff. People would come in, and they would say to me, wow, have you got a 60 mil projector? Does it actually work? And people started to buy them. Hello, film house. I mean, I've had the shop nearly 30 years now. It's called Umit and Son, because initially I had my son working here with me as well. He's about 21, 22 now, but he's moved on to other things. He's into computers and stuff and laptops and what have you. You can't really forced this on people. Although digital getting very good, it can't mimic the colours you get on this. My wife moans sometimes. She goes like, oh, you bought another projector, you bought another film or another movie camera or editor. It has piled up quite a bit over the years. Where well, it's a life's collection, really, you know. I have some projectors that are 100 years old. These things were built to last. If they did break down, you know, there would have been somebody in your family, if not yourself, that could fix it. But nowadays it seems um, we've become a throwaway society. <laughs> These work better once there's weight on it. Oh, there it goes. It's not the original belts, you see. I'm always hunting around for films. I mean, I've had films sent to me from Germany, Turkey, America. I, I hunt around all over the place. I'm just gonna ask, you know you got this mocked up 12 pound, would you take a 10? Would you take a 10, is that okay? It's complete, isn't it? Well, this is well. Well, I'm thinking, man, I'm thinking. I'm going around the corner, I went to it with a straight top. Whenever you go to these film conventions and film fairs or film screening nights, you're always going to see these 
seven-year-old, eight-year-old guys, you know. They're the ones that seem to be turning up. I know a guy who's 83, 84, and he's still cranking the old projector at home. Now, he needs help for somebody to lift the projector for him because he can't lift it. I'm 53 next birthday. More or less, I'm the youngest guy there. It's quite sad nowadays that a lot of cinemas are closing down. And um, I get people coming to me and they ask me, can I do a film screening for them? I'm actually overjoyed. So I'll get the old 60 mil projector, maybe the 8 mil projector, and I'll show film to them. And they enjoy it, but more than that, I enjoy it more than they do. Because I keep it alive, and it's nice to keep it alive, isn't it? It actually makes my day. I wouldn't call it an obsession. It doesn't hurt anybody. And every time you get a projector out and you invite friends around, you get enjoyment from it, and, and they love the images that it gives. So in that sense, that can't be half bad. <laughs> I do like this one. This is a this is quite rare also. But I've actually got this on 16 mil as well. Kitchen Maths Chief. I do love Kung Fu films because I was introduced onto it when I was, when I was about 15, 16 years old. Well, if you just sort of ask me. Uh, what do you think of this 3D thing they got? And I can touch on it a little bit. I always joke, I'll say when I go, I'm going to take them up there and maybe do some film shows up there. So if you've got any film that you don't want, bring it to me, please. Thank you very much. Okay.